Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Locked In LEGO video, where today I've got something that I think is pretty cool. I've made a render of a clone base um, in LEGO Digital Designer, or LDD. Now if you guys don't know what that is, it's essentially an online program that's free to use, and you can essentially just build whatever you want with uh, out of LEGOs, and it's pretty cool. They've got all sorts of different pieces here on the side, um, as you can tell. And so basically I just wanted to kind of uh, make a clone base as kind of like my first project on here. Because I've never really used it before, um, but I thought it was a pretty cool tool because I don't have a lot of, you know, just loose pieces sitting around. Certainly not like these specialized pieces. And so I thought it'd be cool to try and make an online one and see what I could do with it. So essentially what we have here is the 212 have kind of established um, this base on this kind of forest planet. I'm not really sure which one it is, it's kind of up to your imagination. Um, but essentially they've hollowed out this cave here and started setting up their kind of base with their um, planning tables and weapons racks and stuff like that. And then outside um, they've built up this little ladder and a little um, opening here and they've set up this wall where they're setting up troops to kind of defend against an incoming invasion from the droids. So in terms of the build here, um, essentially what I did was I started making by making these columns here. Um, just kind of getting the slopes going in each and every direction just to kind of give it a really cool textured look. And then I did that four times for each corner. Um, and then I did this middle one here, which is kind of the same, just more of those slope techniques. Um, everything going in different directions to kind of make it look like real rocks. And then there's this um, kind of like ladder here, which has these little like blue holograph or hologram pieces um, to give it some sort of accents. Up here we have these trees which are each a little bit different um, in terms of the coloring and the placement of the leaves, um, but those look pretty cool. Then we have this little wall here which is the same pattern, just copied um, throughout here. And I didn't want it to go straight, I thought it would be a little more natural if it kind of curved around um, like that, um, which is pretty cool. And then of course we have the little opening here um, which uses some more slopes and stuff. And then there's kind of this rock path that you can follow um, where this trooper is kind of running up to join the front lines. Um, and then you've got your clones up here. Now you can't actually texture the helmets or um, anything like that. Well, you could uh, texture the bodies, but I couldn't find the right one, so I just left it blank. Um, but unfortunately, you can't texture the helmets, which is why they kind of look blank. Um, in terms of the other stuff we have underneath the fortress, we have this hologram table here. Um, which is just kind of cool. You got some clone troopers and then an officer um, just kind of discussing their battle tactics. Over here we have a little purple hologram with another officer and another one running up to kind of help him out. And then you've got this clone running up here to grab a weapon off the weapons rack and then head up the ladder. And then right here we have General Kenobi briefing his troopers on the incoming assault. And then lastly we have a couple more troopers who have just grabbed their rifles and they'll be running up to assist um, the other troopers as well. So that's pretty much everything in terms of the actual base here. Um, let me put it in like some sort of cinematic mode so you guys can kind of see uh, what it looks like. Um, but that's pretty much the base as a whole. Um, there's this other cool feature that they have on here, Explode the Model, which basically just explodes it and you can see all the pieces go everywhere. And you can see these red pieces over here that like were inside the model um, that got covered up by the old pieces. Um, but then it kind of comes back together. You can see the clone troopers being built, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but that's something really cool that you can do with LEGO Digital Designer. Um, and the last thing I want to do is show you some actual uh, renders, um, which just puts like some more texture on the pieces and makes it look um, realistic. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, show you guys some renders. Here's the first render that I have, it's just kind of the back view um, and you can immediately kind of see how much more detailed and complete like the model looks now that the pieces have been rendered. Um, it looks very much like real Legos and you can kind of see um, the textures uh, much better with this. Um, so there's the first one. If we go to the next one, it's kind of just another angle. Um, you can kind of see it from the front, how we have you know the clone troopers lined up here. And then here's a look at that hologram table, which looks much better with the blue pieces um, actually rendered up there. Uh, on the next one here, we can see it's just kind of another corner view, um, which just gives you kind of a good view of the whole base as a whole. Um, in the next image, we kind of just have the other sides. You can see kind of Obi-Wan a little bit there, and then kind of the troopers running up and sort of the back um, pattern of the wall there. In the next picture we have a side view so you can kind of see the depth of it which looks uh, pretty cool. 
Um, you have your troopers all lined up here with the rifles at the ready, and you kind of have everyone else just scrambling about inside the base. And then that's pretty much it for the renders. Um, as you can tell, they look pretty cool once they're fully rendered, because um, it kind of looks like actual pieces. And it almost looks like a, a picture almost, which is really cool. Um, now the software I used to render it is Blue Render, which is just kind of a rendering software that's kind of hard to use, uh, but once you get it to work, you can get some really cool images, um, like you guys can see here. Um, that's pretty much going to do it for the renders here, guys. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today in terms of my first um, LDD model that I've created. I'm pretty proud of the way it turned out, especially for it being uh, my first model. Um, it probably took me around three to four hours to make, uh, maybe a little bit longer with adding some of the textures. I'm not exactly sure, I wasn't keeping track. Uh, um, but other than that guys, um, please let me know what you think with a comment down below. Um, if you guys are interested in me making models like this, I'd be happy to make more, especially now that I have some experience and I kind of know um, what to do and what not to do in terms of, um, you know, uh, making it go a little bit more smoothly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.